Would you like to have your Unity game playable in the browser completely for free? Or maybe you like to have a Steam-like web page where players can read your description and rate your game. Let's jump right in. First, we'll start by building our game for the web. Go to Unity Hub, install Stub, and find your Unity version of choice. Click on that small three dots icon and select Add Modules. Here, you can select all build modules, in our case, select WebGL. Click done and wait a few minutes for your download to finish and install. Then it's time to open Unity with your project. From the top menu bar, select File, Build, Settings. Here, you can see all possible build targets. Let's select WebGL, click on that Switch Platform button and wait a few seconds. Then, make sure to include all scenes that will be available in your game. In my example, I drag in the main menu scene as the first one, and then other levels. Keep in mind that the first scene is the one your game will start with. And then, one more step before building our game. Go to Player Settings, Publishing Settings, and change Compression to Disabled. Other compression formats may not be compatible with the services we'll be using in this video. And that's it. Simply go back to the build window, click build and select destination of a build folder. Building can take from a few seconds to even 15 minutes depending on your hardware and Unity version. On completion, you should see a newly opened folder with your WebGL build. Now, Time to publish your game. I'll start with Simmer.io. This is a website that simply allows you to post your WebGL builds completely for free in just a few seconds. Open link in the description, log in with your Google account or email, and type in some basic info about you. Then click on that small upload icon in the corner and drag in your whole folder with WebGL build files. After a quick upload, you can preview your game, give it a title, and save it. Now, your game is publicly available at this link, which everyone can open in their browser, play, and even comment. Now, I'll show you the itch.io, which can be even better for your game. It's basically a Steam for indie developers, where everyone can build their own page with description, screenshots, and download links. Each.io also allows you to play the WebGL version of your game in the browser. First, of course, create a free account. After successful login, select from the top right menu bar Applaud New Project. There are a ton of options here, and we could spend a whole episode talking about them, but let's focus on the most important ones. First, type in your game title, set kind of your project as a HTML, and then upload your game files in a zip folder. Also, don't forget to check this file will be played in the browser tick box. To finish things off, let's click the save option at the very bottom of this page to view your game website. Looks great! Remember that you can provide more info of your game like description, screenshots and even add donations box or a fixed price. Also, don't forget about the whole theme editor where you can style your website however you'd like. After all changes are done, share your game with the world by making your page public. On my Discord server, link in the description, I've created a special channel where you can share your game pages. I'm waiting to try out your creations. And that's it! Join Coco Discord and if you have any T questions, be sure to ask them in the comment section down below. See you in the next video.